hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to have you guys here so today we have another chit chat series episode probably the third episode if i'm not mistaken yeah i think i'm right the third episode of our chit chat series so today i'm going to be talking about friendship and don't just say oh friendship like who doesn't know about friendship well you guys i'm not going to say anything about that but i feel like there are some certain things that we need to practice in our friendship relationship that we are not practicing and i feel like some other people are actually in toxic very toxic relationship with their friends so that's what i'm going to be talking about to you guys um first of all i'm not a, 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 a therapist yeah i'm just going to use my own basic knowledge with the little or uh, let me not say little with my emotional intelligence <laughs> i'm going to explain some basic things to you guys that i actually do practice in my relationship with my friends and has been helping and we've just been getting better at you know doing the most the best that we can do for ourselves okay so before we get right into this video subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your post notification button so you don't miss any video coming from me give me a huge like like it like like keep liking and you guys drop your comments down below i reply all comments okay don't be shy I'm going to reply in the comments. I want to hear from you guys too. So please drop your comments down below. Now let's start this video. Welcome to my YouTube channel. actually define what friendship is and I feel like we all know that but I would still define it for people who do not have an idea of it so first of all what do you call friendship friendship is a kind of relationship right yeah we all know that but relationship between who and who is either a relationship a mutual trust me it has to be mutual you can't be friends with someone that is not friends with you you guys that's where the problem starts from and that's where it starts getting toxic okay so it is a mutual relationship between one person and that person or group of persons or people if, if, if that is right okay so it doesn't have to you can you, you you can share friends that's when it's a group of people okay and you can also have that one, just one friend that's why you call it your best friend i guess that's why you call the person your best friend and you can share close friends with other people so i'm not going to be talking about what friendship is here because we all have that simple idea of what it is so I'm actually just going to start with what you should be practicing in your relationship with your friends. The first one is to, you guys, if you've not watched the, my video on love language, please go and watch it because it's very essential for you to understand that before you watch this video. But anyways, let me continue. You need to practice the love language of your friend to love them. Because when you're in a relationship with your friend, you practically do love them, you care for them. But how do you show them the best love, the best care, if you don't know their dominant love language? So for instance, my friend, I, let me say, I'm, yeah, of course I'm being Dr. So I have a friend, her name is, uh, let me use Shola. Shola's dominant love language is acts of service. And that means that she needs, she encourages or loves when people, um, engage in doing things for her do you get me so if shola always reaches out to me to do things for her and i'm always like i'm busy i don't have time oh i cannot do that oh i don't have the, the energy to do that blah 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 what am i sending what message am i sending to her that i'm not really i don't care so much about that because that is our dominant love language so for me not giving that extra care to love her the way she loves she loves to be loved it means that our relationship is going to be a little bit um i don't know what language to put but it won't be so but it won't be so sweet it won't be so good it won't be something that would love do you get what i'm saying because i can I, i'm not focusing on our love language and of course as i'm focusing as you are focusing on your friend's love language your friends also focus on your love your love your dominant love language so you guys practice assignment number one today find out your friend's love language and from now on try your best to show them love 
to their dominant love language okay so i'm going to put out um the test out where to take the test i'm going to put a link in the description box so you guys can do it now the next thing is to listen we all say okay yeah we listen but the truth is that sometimes when your friend comes to you and they share their problems with you and they feel like maybe they would love to get a solution from you if you cannot give a solution listen so the second one is just to listen how do you listen by having attentive ears not by you selecting things that you want to pick from what they are saying if they are saying a to z listen to every letter they say a b c d e f to z not that you select oh let me catch it. okay she said c i'm going to drop the a she said okay she said e i'm going to drop the g she said i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying but just listen to them and when you listen process it also and give them the best solution or advice that you can give them if so guys the third tip to practice in your relationship with your friends it's evaluation i'm sure you're like what evaluation am i writing an exam what am i evaluating you guys i know we're not perfect human beings no human is perfect but all we can do is to improve on, on ourselves to be a better person to people around us okay so that's all you have to do and this is where honesty is very very important and trust me it's the little things that matter the most so let me give you an example i chose shola as my friend in this video right so Myself and Shola were evaluating our relation. I'm like, Shola, what do you think I need to improve or just to make you happy and make you feel like I'm really, um, how do I put it? I'm really committed to being a good friend to you. Just tell me what. And Shola would be like, I've noticed that every time I invite you for family occasions, you never come. You're always bringing up one excuse or the other. Those little things actually matter, you guys. So she has shared that with me and I'm going to improve on it. The next time she tells me that she has a party with her family members in Susan and Sue place. I would definitely be try my best to be available because she loves that it's important to her and something that's important to your friend should also be important to you okay so that's the third tip now the fourth one which is actually the last one you guys is to love your friends family you cannot be friends with someone and you don't know their family members <laughs> that's just it's like some old kind of i don't know it is weird i've never heard of something happening before I guess it happens so if you're friends with someone you need to be friends with their family you need to accommodate their family they need to love you need to love them you know do you know that feeling when your friend's mom knows you and she's like okay oh ah shola when you're coming to meet them me give them me this so you'll be getting extra things now you guys know what i'm saying now oh my goodness please <laughs> accommodate your friends family members let them know you also you know them okay it's very important so that's going to be the end of this video it was just a very short chat series um, episode for us to just talk and just talk about basic things but i hope you're able to learn one or two from this video and you guys that's going to be the end so without further ado this is going to be the last chat series actually for this month yes i think so it will be so it's from your beautiful girl team talk by ishmael feeling my makeup oh i love you guys so much and we'll see each other next video. Bye guys.